Well, I really feel that I have got a battle on my hands. Just seeing these Aussie Rules footballers on the training pitch, not even at full throttle. Uh, well, it's reminded me what the human body should look like. I didn't think I was in such bad shape. It's tough at the top and I'm at the bottom and it's even harder. The thought of one thing though had been bothering me all week, pain. What does it actually feel like to be hit, battered, crumpled? Luckily, it's something I've experienced very little of. But with Nick now called away for international duty, I was handed over to fellow Swans heroes, Ryan O'Keefe and Adam Schneider, who were more than happy to fill me in. <laughs> you just smiling away happily, okay. I'm gonna give you my best shot. Is that, are you sure that's all right? There you go. That was it, wasn't it? Oh! <laughs> I mean, I think in some way that was a good exercise because I felt the pain. Mate, I think he's in a bit of trouble tomorrow, but um, I think some of the some of the boys might might get to him. <laughs> Don't worry about oh. any pain or anything because you won't feel it until after the game. It's bloody difficult this game. I'm you know? beginning to think this is probably the biggest physical challenge I've ever faced. We're talking. Uh, a big bunch of lads, well, they're going to go pommy bashing and um, I expect they'll love every moment of it. It had been a nerve-wracking week and to be honest I felt no more prepared now than when I'd first hit town. But this was it, the moment I had been dreading was upon me and on meeting my monstrous opposing numbers it was fight or flight time. These boys were freaks of nature, some were 6'11 plus, others 22 stone and then some. It was quite obviously going to be a massacre. On the positive side though, following my radio appeal for pommy support, the expats hadn't let me down as they flopped through the turnstiles in their quite literally tens. I see there's a big crowd out there today as well. I think there's about seven or eight people. <laughs> Some good. But well, they must have gone down pretty well on the radio. A million listeners, seven people have turned up. A little bit disappointing. Come on, boys! It's fair to say the omens were bad. With no support, no muscle definition, and absolutely no way out now, I was a sitting duck, a lamb to the slaughter. In fact, any kind of farmyard animal about to face the chop. As the fecal matter began to trickle into my undercrackers, it was now time to face my demons. The next 40 minutes would quite literally be a case of death or glory. Oh my god. 15 seconds in, I've got a minor concussion and we're six points down already. What's more, this lanky has decided he's going to stick tighter to my back than the front row at a Bronxky Beat concert. You gotta get in there, Ash! Yes, and I'm not sure whether that was entirely necessary either. <laughs> it was horrendous. My lungs felt like they were about to explode. My testicles had long since violently imploded. Every time I got the remotest sniff of the ball, one of their <laughs> came and ruined it for me. <laughs> we're getting annihilated. Let's play that. Pretty incredible pace, this. And it feels beyond me. I was really confident coming into this game. Don't stand back, move, move. In fact, the whole experience was doing nothing to disprove my lifelong theory that playing sport along with partaking in teamwork is essentially, well. Oh. That's 18 nil. I just hope I'm not being considered the weak link. Shot it in the grand final run. <laughs> If you're not going to go for the football, don't be here. Don't stand there like a Nancy and not do anything about it, okay? Put your eyes on the football and run at it. Let's go, Ash. Come on. Come on, Come on. Come on. Well, that was me told. And what's worse, I couldn't even blame it on an injury or anything. I'd just been crap. It was now or never time in my quest to show all present that I possessed even the remotest trace of masculinity. <laughs> hey, that was good effort. And a big tackle. Good work, Ashley. Oh, he's got the ball. And he does a few, and he got a hit. Hey, that was good work there. A big kick. He's powerful. Oh, beautiful pass. And he's just going to go. It's good work. It's just a thousand times better than he did in the first quarter. And then, just as it was all going so right, 
it all went so horribly wrong. Oh! <laughs> and I think he got hurt. Yeah. The big fella just buried him into the ground. The huge <laughs> had failed me horribly, and little did I know then that I'd end up paying in x-rays over the weeks to come. In the meantime, though, I had a penalty to take. We were never going to win, but this was my last chance to finally make my name as an Aussie rules footballer. Am I good to go? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Yeah. And he's kicked the goal. Oh, the glory. We were always on to a loser, but somehow and in some small way, I think I'd proved myself. Well, that game was memorable. Not really because of my performance, I think it was a mediocre performance. But chiefly I'm going to remember it for having had about 23 stone of pure beef landing on top of me. But I suppose it's that kind of sacrifice which makes Aussie rules footballers what they are. I'm not one of them, but at least I tried. And I got some free champagne out of it. For someone who has just started this week, you've done extremely well. There was a time. He came here and had a go, he didn't wash out, and he really, you know, put it on the line. I thought, he, I thought he had a real good game. It seemed like we'd all be taken under, but now I can't complain. Up and back twice? Up and back not twice. Not just the once? No, not just the once. Up and back twice? Up and back twice. Okay, do we have to...